SpaceX has done it again. For years, the F-22 Raptor ruled the skies, but a new powerhouse has arrived. The X-59 flies faster than sound without the explosive sonic boom. Unlike older jets, it moves with stealth and speed, making it a true breakthrough in supersonic flight. With new technology, SpaceX is taking air travel to the next level, leaving countries like Hamas and China behind. What makes this aircraft different? Could it truly replace the legendary F-22 Raptor? Join us as we reveal the mind-blowing features of SpaceX's X-59 supersonic aircraft that is set to replace the F-22 Raptor. For decades, supersonic travel was a dream that came with one big problem, and that is the sonic boom. Every time an aircraft flew faster than sound, it always created a loud explosion that could be heard for miles. This led to strict regulations banning supersonic flights over land. Engineers wanted to solve this issue, but it was not easy to fix. The idea of quiet supersonic travel started in the 1960s, but the technology was not ready. Engineers knew that shaping the aircraft in a different way could reduce the boom, but they did not have the advanced materials needed to make it work. A lot of attempts were made, but the results were not what they wanted. The Concorde is one of the world's most famous supersonic passenger planes that flew at incredible speeds, but its loud boom and high fuel consumption led to its downfall. By 2003, the Concorde was retired and supersonic travel was forgotten. But NASA was not ready to give up because their aim was to change the way supersonic planes were designed. And they had a plan. Instead of building a commercial aircraft, they decided to focus on an experimental aircraft that could test new technology. This was how the X-59 project began. In 2016, NASA awarded a contract to Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, a team that is known for creating some of the most advanced aircraft in history. Their mission was simple, and that was to build a plane that could fly at supersonic speeds without the boom. They named it the X-59 Qui SST, which means quiet supersonic technology. Skunk Works engineers had to take their time to make plans. They studied how shock waves traveled around an aircraft and used computer models to find the best shape. They discovered that by designing a long, slender body with a specially shaped nose, they could prevent shock waves from merging into a single loud boom. Instead, the waves would be spread out, creating only a soft thump that people on the ground would barely notice. The first major design review happened in 2017. NASA and Lockheed Martin tested small-scale models in wind tunnels to see how the aircraft would behave. These tests helped improve the shape and confirmed that their plan could work. In 2018, NASA officially gave Lockheed Martin the permission to start building the full-scale aircraft. In 2019, the pieces of the X-59 started coming together. The plane was designed to be 99 feet long with a narrow fuselage and carefully placed wings. Unlike older aircraft, the cockpit was pushed far back and there was no window facing the front direction. Instead, the pilots would rely on an advanced camera system for visibility. Originally, NASA expected the supersonic aircraft to fly by 2020, but there were delays in construction, testing, and funding that pushed the first flight further. Despite these setbacks, the team did not give up. In 2023, Lockheed Martin released footage of the X-59 rolling out of the hangar showing the world that the aircraft was almost ready. They confirmed that the X-59 would soon begin test flights. The goal was to fly over selected cities and collect data on how people react to the new, quieter, supersonic sound. If successful, this research could change aviation forever, leading to new commercial aircraft that can fly faster than sound without disturbing people on the ground. One of the most amazing features of this aircraft is its nose. It is longer and more pointed than any other jet, stretching over a third of the plane's total length. This design helps the plane to spread out the pressure waves, stopping them from combining into a loud explosion. Instead of a regular windshield, the aircraft uses an advanced camera system. The external vision system includes a 4K camera that sends a live image to a clear display inside the cockpit. This gives the pilot a better view it also has special sensors that help detect obstacles and improve visibility in bad weather. The wings of this jet are also different from those of other supersonic planes. They are placed at the back of the aircraft and are thinner than normal. This helps reduce drag and keeps the jet stable at high speeds. The tail of the aircraft is also split into two vertical stabilizers, which help control the movement of the plane 
and keep it steady in the air. The engine is another important part of the design. The X59 is powered by a General Electric F14 engine, the same type used in F18 fighter jets. This powerful engine allows the aircraft to fly at speeds over Mach 1 without afterburners, making it more efficient and reducing noise. Unlike other supersonic jets, this supersonic jet has its engine intake on top of the fuselage instead of underneath. This helps block engine noise from reaching the ground, making the aircraft even quieter. The landing gear is not custom made, but borrowed from other planes. The front landing gear comes from an F-16, while the rear landing gear is taken from a T-38 trainer jet. This helps save money and speed up production since NASA did not have to develop new landing gear from scratch. Inside the aircraft, the cockpit is designed to be easy to use. The pilot has a modern glass display with digital controls instead of old dials and switches. However, the aircraft's quiet supersonic technology did not only reduce noise, but it also helped with fuel efficiency. Traditional supersonic jets burn a lot of fuel because of the extra drag created by shockwaves. But since the X-59 minimizes these shockwaves, it can travel faster while using less fuel. This makes it easier for long distance travel and could help bring back commercial supersonic flights in the future. NASA and Lockheed Martin have also worked hard to make sure the aircraft is safe. Since it is an experimental jet, they have installed multiple backup systems in case something goes wrong. The aircraft is equipped with an automatic flight control system that helps the pilot manage stability at high speeds. It also has emergency landing procedures that allow it to glide safely in case of engine failure. While this jet is not built for combat, its technology has influenced the next generation of fighter jets. If supersonic planes can fly without creating loud booms, military jets can move faster than ever before. One of the biggest reasons this supersonic aircraft is so important is its potential to change aviation rules. The X-59 was built to change the future of supersonic travel, but it was not easy. From the start, engineers had to deal with major obstacles that threatened to slow down and even stop the project. Creating a supersonic plane that does not make a loud boom is not simple. Every part of the aircraft had to be carefully designed, tested, and adjusted. Even with advanced technology, problems kept coming up, forcing NASA and Lockheed Martin to find new solutions. One of the biggest challenges was making sure the aircraft actually reduced the sonic boom. The entire purpose of this aircraft is to prove that supersonic jets can be quiet, but this had never been done before. Engineers had theories, but until the plane was built and tested in real-world conditions, they could not be sure it would work. If the plane failed to reduce the boom, the entire project would be at risk. The long, pointed nose of this plane plays a huge role in controlling sound waves, but it also created a major issue. There was no room for a regular cockpit window, and this meant that the pilots could not see what was in front of them. Another issue was the balance and stability of the aircraft. The unique design of the plane, with its nose and thin wings, meant it had to be perfectly balanced to fly smoothly. Any miscalculation could make it hard to control, especially at high speeds. Engineers ran countless wind tunnel tests and computer simulations, adjusting the wing placement and tail design to make sure the plane would stay stable in flight. The engine placement also created issues. Most jets have their engine intakes on the bottom, but the X-59 has its intake on top to reduce noise. This change affected how air flowed into the engine, making it harder to keep the right amount of power during flight. Engineers had to adjust the design to make sure the engine could have enough air without causing issues that could affect performance. Building the aircraft itself was another challenge. Since it was an experimental aircraft, it was not built like a normal passenger or military jet. Many of its parts had to be custom made, which took extra time and money. To save costs, the engineers used landing gear from other aircraft, but other components like the unique nose structure and the cockpit system had to be built from scratch. There were also delays in production. Designing and testing the aircraft took longer than expected, and some parts were harder to manufacture than planned. Supply chain issues also slowed down production forcing the engineers to adjust their schedules. One of the biggest concerns was whether the government would actually allow supersonic planes to fly over land. There are strict rules that ban these flights because of the noise they create. The entire purpose of the X-59 is to prove that these rules can be changed, but that decision is not up to NASA. 
Even if the aircraft works perfectly, governments around the world need to agree that it is quiet enough to allow supersonic travel again. To help convince the governments, NASA has decided to test flights over several cities. These flights will allow people to hear the difference between a regular sonic boom and the quieter sound of the X-59. They will collect feedback from the public and use the data to argue that supersonic flights should be allowed, but there is no guarantee that the tests will be enough to change the laws. Another problem is the cost of future supersonic aircraft. If the technology is successful, it could lead to commercial planes that fly faster than sound. However, building and operating these planes will not be cheap. Airlines will need to decide if they are willing to invest in supersonic travel, and passengers will need to be willing to pay higher ticket prices. If airlines decide that it is not profitable, supersonic travel would not be allowed, even if the technology works. Also, supersonic jets use more fuel than regular airplanes, and fuel costs are a major concern for airlines. Even if this aircraft proves that quiet supersonic travel is possible, engineers will still need to find ways to make future aircraft more fuel efficient. Otherwise, the cost of flying these planes might be too high to make them practical for everyday travel. Another challenge is safety. Since this supersonic plane is a completely new type of aircraft, there is no long history of data to prove how safe it is. While the experts have run countless tests, the real proof will come when the aircraft flies regularly. Any issues that come up during test flights will need to be fixed before supersonic travel can become common. Despite these challenges, the engineers have worked for years to solve problems that once looked impossible. While there are still obstacles to overcome, each test brings them closer to making quiet, supersonic travel a reality. The X-59 is designed to change the future of supersonic travel, but supersonic speed has always been an important part of military air power. The United States Air Force has relied on speed and stealth to dominate the skies for decades. One aircraft that stands out as one of the most advanced fighter jets is the F-22 Raptor, which is set to be replaced by the X-59. This fighter was created to be the ultimate air superiority jet, and it is one of the most feared aircraft in the world. In the 1980s, the United States needed a new jet to replace the older F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. These aircraft were strong, but military experts knew that future enemies would have better weapons and more advanced fighter jets. The country needed a new fighter that could defeat any threat in the sky. The United States Air Force started the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program, which led to the development of two new aircraft. Lockheed Martin built one design, and Northrop Grumman built another. After years of testing, Lockheed Martin's design won, and the aircraft was officially named the F-22 Raptor. This fighter was built with one purpose, and that is to dominate air combat. It was faster, stealthier, and more advanced than anything that came before it. The first aircraft of its kind was introduced in the year 2005, and it quickly became the most powerful fighter in the world. While the Cold War had ended by the time the aircraft entered service, new threats were beginning to rise. Countries like China and Russia were developing their own advanced fighter jets, and the United States wanted to stay ahead. The F-22 became an important part of the United States Air Force's strategy to keep air superiority. One of the biggest advantages of this jet is its stealth. Enemy radars work by bouncing signals off aircraft, but this plane was built to be almost invisible. Its body is covered in radar-absorbent material, and its shape is designed to scatter radar waves in different directions. Even when enemy radars pick up a signal, it appears as something much smaller, just like the size of a bird. This makes it incredibly hard to track and even harder to lock onto with missiles. Also, this jet could fly faster than the speed of sound without using afterburners. This is called Super Cruise, and it allows the fighter to cover long distances quickly while saving fuel. Older jets had to use afterburners to go supersonic, which burned fuel fast and made them easier to detect, but it was not a problem for the Raptor. Maneuverability is where the Raptor truly shines. It uses thrust vectoring nozzles, which allow the engines to change direction mid-flight. This means the jet can turn, climb, and twist in ways that other planes cannot. In battles, this gives the pilot an advantage, allowing them to get behind an enemy and fire before they even see what is coming. This aircraft is also loaded with powerful weapons. 
It carries six AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles and two AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles for air combat. These missiles can lock onto targets from miles away, striking before the enemy knows what hit them. The jet also has a 20mm Vulcan cannon with nearly 500 rounds, giving it firepower for close-range combat. Aside from that, it can carry two 1,000-pound GPS-guided bombs, allowing it to take out targets while staying undetected. The cockpit is designed to give the pilot complete awareness of their surroundings. It has six color displays that show real-time data on threats, targets, and mission status. A special helmet-mounted display allows the pilot to aim weapons just by looking at a target. This means the Raptor can fire at enemies without even needing to point the nose of the plane at them. The jet's advanced radar system can track multiple targets at once, even from extreme distances. It can detect enemy aircraft long before they come close, allowing the pilot to fire and stay out of harm's way. This radar is also built to resist enemy jamming, making it harder to block or interfere with. It can also gather intelligence. Its sensors can detect enemy movements and share information with other aircraft in real time. This makes it a key part of any mission, helping commanders make better decisions based on the latest data. But as powerful as the F-22 is, it has faced a lot of problems. One of the biggest challenges is its price. This jet was extremely expensive to develop and build. Each jet costs a lot of money and maintaining them is just as costly. Another issue is that the aircraft has never been exported. Unlike the F-35, which is sold to many allied nations, the Raptor is only used by the United States. This means there is no extra funding from other countries to help with upgrades and maintenance. The entire cost of keeping the jet operational falls on the United States Air Force. Technology has also moved forward since the Raptor was first introduced. While it is still one of the best fighter jets, modern aircraft are being developed with even more advanced systems. Even training pilots for the jet has been a challenge. Since there are so few of these jets, pilots have limited opportunities to practice in them. The Air Force has used flight simulators to help with training, but nothing replaces real flight experience. If the government ever needed to send large numbers of Raptors into combat, there might not be enough trained pilots to fly them. Another problem is that the plane was built mainly for air superiority. While it can strike ground targets, it was not designed for bombing missions like the F-35. The Air Force has tried to upgrade the Raptor to handle more missions, but because production ended early, some improvements have been harder to make. Despite these challenges, this aircraft remains a crucial part of the United States military. The development of the F-22 Raptor and the X-59 shows how much aviation technology has changed over the years. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link appearing on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.